Okay, so uh, this is our last lesson in this packet, and if we're lucky, we might get to finish before break. <laughs> if I'm still going to collect them from you guys to score them, so. Um, it's on page 30, and it's finding 100% given another percent. So if we're given another percent, we can always set up a proportion, okay? Uh, but before we start that, our opening exercise is to look at the factors of 100. So up here, let's list the factors of 100. And let's list them as factor pairs. What are two numbers that you can multiply to get 100? 50 times 2. 25 times 4. 20 times 5. Yep, can't forget about that basic one, right? 10 times 10. Okay, now let's list them in order from um, largest or least to greatest. So the least is 1, 2 is a factor of 100. Is 3? No. What about 4? It goes with the 25. 5. And then what's the next largest after 5? 10. It's only, we only list it once when we're listing the factors, even though it is a pair. Um, after 10, we have 20, 25, 50, and 100. We're going to use those numbers in this table. They've already listed the top two. Let's go down and we're going to go from greatest to least in the table. So we have 150, then comes what? 25, 20, 10, 5, 4, 2, and 1. And now we're going to do in this column the multiples of the factors of 100. You guys didn't learn the word multiple, but you learned what they were when your t elementary teachers had you count up. So for instance, the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Could we keep going? Multiples of 5 would be 5, 10, 15, okay? And we're going to list them up to 100. So 100 only has 100 because it's starting there. It would, its multiples would be 100, 200, 300, 400, but for this table, we're stopping at 100, so it's only going to be the one listed. How many multiples can we get to go up to 100 then? One. With 50, I can count up 50 to 100, but the next would be 150, which is too high, so we're going to stop there and do two. What are we counting up with 25? 25, mm -hmm. and can we stop there? Yeah, how many do we have? Four. What comes next? 20, 40, what counts up from 40? Uh-huh. And how many are those? Okay, and I think I'm going to stop you there and let you guys finish this on your own. But before I send you off to work, I want you to turn to page 32. We're skipping 31 today, but we're going to come back to it tomorrow, so don't cross anything off, okay? I would like you to work with a partner to find ways to try to come up with solutions to these. And I don't even want to give you a hint. I want you just to use what you guys already know about percents and in your partnership. But here's what I really do want to know. How did you find your answer? Okay? So if you're using mental math strategies, if you're figuring out what 1% of it is and then figuring out the rest, if you're using a proportion, show your work 
And if your work isn't enough to clarify, like if you had a conversation with your partner, you might have to write something down. Well, when we talked, we discovered blah, 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 okay? I want to see on this paper your thinking as well as the work. Does that make sense? Okay. And then let's skip also to page 34 and just 34. So you're going to, on your own, finish page 30. Just the table. Don't worry about the question down below. Thumbs up, you guys got that? Page 30, just the table. We're working on even number pages today because we're going to skip 31 and go to 32. And you're doing this with a partner. And I want to see your thinking present on the paper. Make sense? And then we're going to skip 33 and go to 34. I'd like you to try to work on these independently. Take what you learned with your partner. Try to do these five problems on your own. Fair enough? Okay, when you finish that, because we don't have advisory today, so we have a full class, um, ST math. Okay, questions?